And folks, it is now time for tonight's main event, pitting Dragonfly Hakata against Judas Devon. shot Dragonfly Hakata he said earlier tonight that he's willing to do anything and that he's willing to do whatever it takes to win this match tonight and you know he will we've seen this guy put his body on the line last time at Thanksgiving Thunder uh, flying all over the place coming out at the end there and attacking uh, putting Judas Divine through that table leaping out of the ring puts his own body at risk every time he wrestles this is sure to be an incredible matchup. And his opponent, weighing at 199 and three quarters pounds, he helps every woman's fantasy and every man's nightmare. This man coming to the by heaven. Here is Judas Divine out next, along with his manager, Heaven, who was also a very big asset for Mr. Divine, the Prince of Pleasure, if you will. Seems like he's doubling his odds. He's got Simon Sutherland out there with him, too. Simon Sutherland. That's going to make this match just about twice as hard for Dragonfly to win. He's got to not only worry about Judas now, he's got to worry about Heaven and Mr. Election Day. How can Dragonfly really seriously overtake these tremendous odds in which he's going up against? It really is. I don't understand even now. I mean, for all this, if Jesus Divine wins this match, he's going to have to fight his good friend, Chauncey Fish. That's going to make quite an interesting decision on the part of that man. It would be very interesting to see how that turns out. Simon Sutherland would be torn between, well, Two lovers, as Mary McGregor once said. <laughs> Coming in the ring, cheering the man on, taking off his uh, extra jewelry and what have you. This match is about to get on the way. By the way, this match is a no holds barred, no disqualification matchup. That just makes it even more dangerous for both of these men. No doubt, not going to beat for the faint of heart. That's definitely for sure, Vinny. There's the bell, the crowd going nuts. This one is underway. These two just feeling each other out here in the early going. Tie up in the center of the ring. Prince of Pleasure with a headlock. Irish whip in. Leapfrog and another. Beautiful ring awareness there from the Dragonfly up and over. Duck the clothesline. Goes through. Beautiful Bulldog. Nobody home on the leg drop. Nobody home on the elbow drop. This match looking like it's in fast forward here in the early going. That was an impressive display of a, a bunch of great maneuvers. A back and forth uh, exchange right there. These two are uh, very evenly matched. This is, this is shaping up to be really good. Beautiful exchange to start off this main event for Thanksgiving Thunder. Right here in Allentown, Pennsylvania, Dragonfly Hakata, the Prince of Pleasure, Judas Divine, and of course, Heaven and Simon Sutherland on the outside in the corner of that man, Judas Divine. Series of reverses on that arm ringer. 
taking him down. A lot, a lot more technical wrestling than I thought I'd see in this match. I'm surprised. I didn't think we'd see, we'd see much technical wrestling at all, but these two going at it, putting on a wonderful display here in the early going. Snapmare. Now Judas getting worked over by Dragonfly Hakana. This is, this is possibly good strategy from the Dragonfly. Well, he's trying to wear him down with this uh, submission. Uh, wear him down early in the match, so then later on, he possibly won't have the energy exactly. that he needs. Dragonfly, he's a very smart wrestler. You know what he's doing out there. Chin breaker. Chin breaker, down goes the Dragonfly, now an elbow. And a leg drop, hammering away on that uh, inside thigh. Now pushing back is Hakata. Monkey flip out of the corner. Drop kick to the small of the back. Drop kick there. Oh, back to the arm again. Oh. oh, look at this beautiful submission by Dragonfly. Submission attempt, turning into a pinning combination as well. Interesting move here from the Dragonfly. Referee Bugsy Schmidt doesn't know where to look. Now rolling it over into a pinning combination for the Prince of Pleasure. That could be all, no, two count only. That was very nice thinking by uh, Judas Divine. There. Great mat wrestling from Judas Divine and the Dragonfly. This is a, a nice surprise here, some mat wrestling. Uh, normally there's no little bar matches, you know, you just see guys out there brawling and beating the hell out of each other. These two are, are wrestling a smart match. Putting on a <laughs> clinic. Wrenching that neck of Dragonfly. Definitely a wrestling clinic here in tonight's main event, which by the way is no holds barred. Big boot right between the eyes, down goes Dragonfly. Running the pizza kick, Judas Divine. Judas Divine. Dragonfly on spaghetti legs. Ooh, close line to the outside. Both men roll and hit the outside of the ring. Check it out. Devastating. Well, I mean, that basically hurts both men, but uh, you know, in a match like this, you can't be afraid to take yourself out, too. Now, this is the area where Judas Divine, in my opinion, has the advantage. Because yeah, he has say. got heaven, he's got Simon Sutherland out there. He's got a lot of weapons uh, working for him out there. Dragonfly Hakata thrown into that big pile of steel chairs on the outside. Just tearing the arena apart now. Places in shambles. Now what are they going to do? Heaven holding that chair. This can't be good for the Dragonfly. Chair in hand. It looks like Heaven is going to give the assist to the Prince of Pleasure. What's he got? Oh, oh my God, a huge Yakuza kick right on that chair. Sickening thud. That's checked out out again. Oh, my God. And from another angle. Oh, look at the impact. Sickening, sickening impact on the side of the head. Chalk up the assist for heaven. That's what I'm talking about, Donnie. That's, that's what he's got going on out there. And, you know, suddenly the, the tide is completely on Judas's side. He's got all the momentum, and Dragonfly is Dragonfly has got to be a little woozy after that huge shot to the head. Wonderful camera work there by the BWA cameraman. Yes, definitely. The best in the business. That's I right. Oh, now kicking uh, Judas to the outside. Uh oh, Dragonfly is getting a little antsy. It's gonna fly. He puts heaven in front of him. Oh, look at that ring awareness on Dragonfly. He sees Judas. Might I, might I add, very cowardly act, pulling heaven in front of him. You know, I said earlier this guy cares about no one but himself, and it's absolutely true right there, it's obvious. Now Dragonfly coming on to the outside, big Ooh, leg drop. Guillotine leg drop. Across the back of the head of Judas Divine, as heaven just watches on. What does she see in this guy? Yeah, I honestly don't know. Now hammering away on the outside. It's a pleasure thrown into that pile of chairs once again. Dragonfly have got it in full control. Oh, and the board falling on him. The board falls down on top of the Prince of Pre Pleasure. <laughs> now Dragonfly jumped on top of the board. You know, if you're a BWF fan coming to an event, you got to know by, by the main event, you're probably not going to have a seat anymore. That's right. Everything's in shambles as the crowd just kind of huddles around the action. And now Dragonfly taking the... Judas all over the outside. 
And you know, Simon Sutherland really hasn't gotten too involved in this match. I'm surprised. I wonder, I wonder if he wants to see a match between Chauncey. Yeah, there you go. And the Prince of Pleasure. You gotta wonder who, where uh, and Simon's allegiance lies. Big chair what between the eyes. Huge chair shot. Look, at, let's take a look. Listen. Impact of that chair in the head. That was just, that'll knock any normal guy out right there. The Prince of Pleasure feeling the effects of that chair shot. I'm not sure. From our vantage point, I believe he's. I believe he's been busted open. It, it, I think so. He's not really moving around too much down there. And oh yes, God, he has. there it is. He's been busted wide open. Look at that. The blood just trickling down the face of Judas as Dragonfly set up the barbed wire board over there. We've got barbed wire oh in this one. God, just driving his head right into it. Oh my God, look at the blood dripping on the board there. No more mat wrestling in this one. <laughs> I guess the mat wrestling part of this match is over. Mat wrestling going by the wayside. And now it's time to beat the hell out of each other. Looking oh, for a spinning a... DDT. Oh, oh, blocked. What is he going to do? He's got him in a bear hug. <laughs> the crowd scrambles out of his way. Oh, my God. Oh. Back of his head bouncing off of the wall here at the BWA Arena. Now the Prince of Pleasure with blood flowing down his face. Trying to bloody the face of the dragonfly. Devastating. Look at the blood just, just running down the face. He's got him up. No, wait a minute. He's looking at, at that barbed wire. Doesn't look good for the dragonfly. Here it goes. What is he gonna do? He's got him up. Slams him into that barbed wire. Dragonfly Hakata. Thrown into the barbed wire on the outside. You gotta get him back in the ring. Look at the blood on Judas. Judas I, losing a major amount of blood. I think the wire wasn't the bad enough. Dragon Dragonfly Dragon head Dragon bouncing off that concrete floor. Sad day indeed. Uh, Simon Sutherland taunts the Dragonfly on the ground. Simon Sutherland, he just loves this. Judas, though, a lot worse for the wear. Uh, busted open from that huge chair shot. Just kind of trying, trying to rest up over there and stop losing so much blood. Dragonfly's making his way in. Here comes Dragonfly. Oh, cross body, oh, caught by Judas. Backbreaker. Beautiful fall away slam. Amazing. Launching the Dragonfly from one side of the ring clean to the other. Judas is a bloody mess, but somehow still with the strength to throw Dragonfly around like that. Judas able to navigate his way around the ring. There's a neck breaker. There's another one. Third time's a charm. Triple neck breaker. We've seen that before from Judas. Two, this is... Two count only from referee Bugsy Schmidt. Dragonfly still finds the strength to kick out. These men now a lot... Uh, all of their energy drained. They've been beating the hell out of each other here for probably a good 10 minutes. And I wonder if that blood loss is going to come back to hurt Judas Devon a little bit later on in the match. He has lost a lot of blood here in the early going. That's where the advantage now would lie with uh, Dragonfly. The longer this match goes, the more advantage for Dragonfly because Judas is losing a lot of blood. And the more blood he loses, the big kick to the back of the head. The more blood Judas is losing, the, the more uh, energy he's going to be losing. The longer this goes, the better the odds are for Dragonfly. Ooh, taking out that weak leg of Dragonfly. Taking out that left leg. The Dragonfly is down, writhing in pain right now. Judas Devine in control with blood streaming down his face. Still able to be the aggressor thus far in the match. Might I add, the winner of this match is the number one contender, by the way. And look at this. After all we've just seen, a figure four leg. Now ball. a figure four. This is definitely a surprise. I mean, we've just seen them bloodied and battered and going through barbed wire, only to get back in the ring for a figure four. I thought the mat wrestling was over, Donnie. Uh, apparently not. Every time I say that, I'm wrong. Judas Divine. 
still trying to wear down the Dragonfly. Uh -oh, Dragonfly looking for a reversal. Fans rallying behind Dragonfly Hakata. Trying to there reverse it, it. He's got it. Now the Prince of Pleasure writhing in pain. He gets to the rope. Referee Bugsy Schmidt making the Dragonfly release the hold. Dragonfly Hakata. Big DDT. Plants him right in the mat. Brain buster right here in the middle of the ring. That could be all for the Prince of Pleasure. One, two, two count only. Where is Judas getting the strength to kick out? Scoop and a slam from Dragonfly. He's calling for the splash. Could it be? If he lands this, it's over for Judas. Wait a minute. Now up on the up on the apron is heaven. Oh, come on, Bugsy. Get her out of there. Referee Bugsy Schmidt. Now it's a little bit too late there, Bugsy. Oh, no. oh look at this. A huge slam off the top by Judas. Like we said earlier, she's a dangerous weapon out there. This could be two, count. two count only. Still finds the strength to kick out. These two guys vying for the top spot. It is takeoff. <laughs> These two guys vying for the top spot. It is Thanksgiving Thunder here at the BWA Arena in Allentown. Going up and over. He got caught. Dragonfly got caught by the Prince of Pleasure. Good. <laughs> oh, nice submission maneuver. Is he going to give it up? No. Hangs in there somehow. Quite literally, he hangs in there. Hey, Vinny. Come on, Dragonfly! Now both these men just trying to find the strength even to stand up anymore. <laughs> Yet they still have the energy to, to keep this match going. Another sufficient maneuver. Oh, look nice at this. Bridge. Working on that neck of Dragonfly. Dragonfly's gonna reverse it. Oh. Trying to reverse it into a kamikaze type maneuver and down goes the Prince of Pleasure. That's a very nice maneuver by Dragonfly. It's a pleasure just crawling around Dripping blood off his head. Heaven outside reaching for a foreign object. She's got a light bulb. That is a light bulb. Intercepted by Dragonfly. Dragonfly Hakata, wait a minute. He's not gonna. Oh my god. Oh my god. He just broke that light bulb over the back of Judas Divine. And he's not done yet. Driving that down with all of his body weight, that is, that is incredible. Now digging oh into God. the back. Just, oh, he's just carving him up. Digging into the back of the Prince of Pleasure who has been bloodied. The broken glass on the back of Judas. Broken glass still in the middle of the ring. There it is, that's Dragonfly's finisher. This could be the end. That could be all. The Prince of Pleasure is down, he is hurt. profusely and wait a minute here comes Chauncey Fitch oh come on Chauncey Fitch interrupting in this match this is a travesty Dragonfly oh, Hakata a Bugsy. Dragonfly Hakata has not only got to beat the Prince of Pleasure he has to deal with heaven he has to deal with Chauncey he has to deal with Sutherland this is, this is just ridiculous now now Chauncey Fitch taking it to, to Dragonfly. Well, I guess we knew somewhere in the back of our mind this would happen. And down oh. he goes. Right next to that broken glass. The Prince of Pleasure now. The Dragonfly never had a chance. The odds are stacked so high against him. And the, the, Chauncey and Judas are slapping five like they're best friends. Doesn't Chauncey realize he's going to have to fight Judas when he wins? That's right. Wait a minute, Dragonfly reverses and throws Judas out. Chauncey, Chauncey doesn't Fitch. know what's going on. And here comes Dragonfly. Up and over. On Down the goes Chauncey Fitch. Take another look. Huge plancha by the Dragonfly. And just when you think this guy's licked, he comes right back at you. Oh. Chair between the eyes on Dragonfly Hakata. Followed up by a boot to the face. Now Chauncey. 
and the Prince of Pleasure working together, working over Dragonfly Hakata here on the outside. Simon Sutherland getting over there as well, pulling out those uh, protective mats that we have here. Exposing the concrete, this is going to look good for the Dragonfly. The color of this setting up. They're digging underneath the ring. Who knows what lurks beneath PWA rings? Oh, it's a table. Oh, wait. And here comes a table. No, give me that just in case. This is becoming. This is just not fair. This is it's essentially four on one against the Dragonfly. And they're just manhandling him now. And now Dragonfly. This table. Dragonfly lying in a heap. Out here on the cold hard steel. Well, the world ever set it up. Pull out still those chairs just covering Dragonfly. I don't think I've seen him move in it. Oh, there he is. He's throwing him back in finally. Finally getting back into the ring where this match, by the way, belongs. That's right. Don't forget, we still need a winner in this one. And Bugsy Schmidt is out in the corner. Oh, what the heck's going on now? Chauncey's got that barbed wire board. Barbed wire board in hand. Chauncey Fitch. Jesus, they're not done with this yet. Oh, just pin him and be done with it. Oh, and the barbed wire has been added to the table. This is going to... We're talking career they ending. They put through Dragonfly through that barbed wire table. This could honestly be career ending. What are they doing? This isn't good enough for them? What more could they possibly do to Dragonfly? There's nothing else that they could put he's, on that table. He's already down. He could pin him right now if Bugsy was There's away. nothing else they could put on that table to what? inflict more damage. What yeah. is that? Oh my god. They're putting light bulbs through the barbed wire on that table. And Not, more. And more. Now Heaven getting into the act, piling those light bulbs onto that table that's already covered in barbed wire. Donnie, I can't believe this. This is the most horrific display I've ever seen. PWA fans can't believe He's what they're seeing. More. Judas he, isn't happy with that. Judas wants more light bulbs laid out on that table. This is absolutely insane. This is, this is uncalled for. They're putting two more light bulbs on there. Two, three, four, five, six light bulbs laid out on that table on top of the barbed wire. On top of the concrete. This is outrageous. The Prince of Pleasure. What on earth is he going to try and do? Oh my God. He's got him up. He can't possibly. Ladies and gentlemen, this is unbelievable. He's going for the pleasure driver. The pleasure. Tell me it's, tell me it's not going to happen. Off the apron through that mess? Oh my god. Oh my god. The, the, take a look. Take a look at the carnage here. Glass everywhere, barbed wire piercing the skin of both of these two men. Look the, at the back. Oh, the dragonfly is just twitching, lying in just a. A mangled wreck there of, of wood and barbed wire and glass and oh my god that could that could seriously end a man's career this could be the last time we ever see dragonfly look at him just tangled in the barbed wire and judas divine couldn't be more proud of himself after what he's done to this decimated dragonfly hakata he could have pinned him 10 minutes ago seriously this was completely uncalled for. This was just them being cocky and, and just, they just want to hurt the Dragonfly. They want to end his career. Pure arrogance on the part That's exactly. of Judas Divine now strutting his stuff in the middle of the ring. I think, look at him now mimicking a, a certain other professional wrestler. Who? Uh, I'm, I'm not really familiar with it. Here comes a leg oh, drop. a huge leg drop. Just adding insult to injury. Yeah. Referee Bugsy Schmidt is still down, however. He's been he's been out for quite some time now. I honestly don't think Judas knows where he is anymore. All that blood loss, he just seems like he's delusional in there. 
he doing now? He's calling in Simon. Now here comes Mr. Turkey Day himself, Simon Sutherland. We've also got Heaven now up on Heaven, up on the apron. Heaven just stole a fan's camera. What the hell is going on? What are they gonna they're gonna take a picture of this? These guys are just making a mockery of this wrestling match. They just turn it into their own little game to see how bad they can hurt the dragonfly. This group the memory of the greatest night in Judas Divine. He wants to take a picture as a memory of this? This group has just taken over this main event. The arrogance of this group disgusts me. Come on, go on. Look at them posing for a picture with the dragonfly. Mugging for the minute. camera. Wait a minute, dragonfly. dragonfly pulls him over. Referee Bugsy Smith rolling over. One, two, two three. three. It's over. It's over. It's over. Dragonfly pulls up the upset of the century. Vinny, Dragonfly's shoulders were down. Judas just got the pin. Judas got the pin. What are you talking? Both men's shoulders were down, I think. Wait just a minute. No. I clearly saw Dragonfly's shoulders down. I saw, I saw the Prince of Pleasure shoulders down. Dragonfly Hakata should rightfully be the winner of this one. Who, who did Bugsy count for? Bugsy, he was just coming too. He counted, he counted the three. I know I saw him. I saw him get the three but count. Who was he counting for? Both men claiming to have won the match, and I think both men did win the match. And he's going to award the match. Judas Divine has stolen a victory when both men were actually pinned to the mat. But wait a minute, here comes Commissioner Holmes. What the? Commissioner Holmes now in the ring. Commissioner Holmes claiming that Dragonfly is the rightful winner. Mass confusion here. And now saying Dragonfly is the winner. Both men's shoulders were Commissioner pinned Holmes the just raising the, what, the hand of now, the Dragonfly. Now Judas is the winner. Commissioner Holmes says Dragonfly is the winner. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got mass hysteria. Both men's shoulders were pinned to the mat. There's actually no clear winner. What's the commissioner going to say about this? He's what? He's a referee. He's a And says there's no clear winner here tonight. Are you jealous? Are you jealous of the Prince of Pleasure? Judas Divine going at it with the commissioner. Oh God, no. Haven't we been through enough, Donnie? Uh, Judas has lost his mind. I think that blood loss has really gone to his head. <laughs> I heard you're not supposed to breathe in the stuff that comes out of those light bulbs. That's true. The double deckers in the pants. But since there's no clear winner in life, I'm going to give you your match. Since you had to interfere, we're going to do this all over again next time. To see who goes for the shot at the belt. What? Since you stuck your nose in this, it's going to be a three-way dance. Oh my goodness! Three-way dance. Jamie Holmes, Commissioner Holmes, calling for the three-way dance. You and you. To see who wins the belt. Winner takes all. A no DQ, all weapons allowed. Oh my God! A three-way dance, no DQ between these three men for the title at the next event. And now what the hell, Dragonfly? Dragonfly, still. Judas just fell in that barbed wire mess outside. And Dragonfly slamming Chauncey, what the hell's slamming going on? Slamming Chauncey into that broken glass. Folks, he's headed to the top rope. It's time to fly with the Dragonfly. There it is, the Dragonfly splash. He got the last word in. Or maybe not. And here comes the Prince of Pleasure, Judas Divine, making his way over to the Dragonfly. What on earth have we got going on here? Holmes, you fucking idiot. You realize that in January, it's going to be me and Judas 
against Mr. Akata. Two on one, bitch. I don't see how you're gonna survive. Yeah, you know. I did it first time. Chauncey and Judas claiming that it won't be a three-way dance. It will be more like two on one. And now Chauncey mouthing off up in the Chauncey face of Fitch. Chauncey Fitch, Judas Divine making their way out of here. What have we just witnessed there, Donnie D? I really don't know anymore. Anyway, that was pure chaos. No clear winner. Dragonfly Hakata left standing alone in the ring. Judas Divine! You both belong to the Dragonfly! Dragonfly Hakata. I guess he, he, he looks really worn out from that devastating spot he took, but apparently he's. he's all right, and he's, he's ready. And it appears next time we're going to see a three-way dance. There you have it, folks. Three-way dance next time. I'm Vinny Bronya. And I'm Donnie D. And this has been BWA Thanksgiving Thunder.